Alright guys, I'm going to do a really terrible job of how to just do basic editing for uniforms in for 2K13. The very, very first thing that I have to repeat a lot to people um, that I'm just going to tell you right now, you cannot edit um, custom locations for the numbers or the names um, on the uniform. And same with the NBA patch. Now, there are teams, that the retro teams in the 70s, they have the, the NBA patch on their uniform removed, so you can use them as a base. Um, if you need a really small number in the front, you know, use the Warriors uh, uniform as a base because that will have the numbers in the right position. If you need the uh, name underneath the number on the back of the uniform, try to find a uniform that has that to begin with. If you need, um, well, excuse me, numbers resized, if you need them in a specific location, all that stuff. Find the uniform with that in the correct position before you start editing. That is very, very important. Now, let's just say we want to do... Uh, let's say we need the Clippers, the Retro Clippers um, uh, number location. But we want to do it with a 76ers uniform. Okay, so let's load up the Clippers stuff. So 006 is the Clippers, if you remember from the IDs list in the NLSC Tutorials forum. So right here is the Clippers. And as we know from this as well, um, this file structure for uh, retros starts with R1 and then home away or alternate. So let's head over here and let's find the R3A. So Screw it, we'll use this. Um, I believe, you know, let's go R2H. Let's say this is the one that has the, uh, buh, 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 the, the, the name location and the number location that we want to edit, right? So, we could try to go ahead and open this with the mod tool, the 2K12 mod tool, or the 2KX mod tool, whatever they, whatever they call it. And we'll go to the desktop, we'll try to open it. Yay, decompress. And if you look, you'll see that this is all screwed up. Nothing seems to be working right, except for that, yay. We cannot use the mod tool for editing this stuff. We have to use the 3DM mod tool, because of course they had to name it the same damn thing. <laughs> it isn't Chinese, so bear with us here. So head over to the desktop where you say, that's not the desktop, the desktop. Open it up, and now all of these things are beautiful looking and they're working great. So let's say I want to take a 76 years, let's open up a second instance of this. And let's say I want to take the 76 ers retro, so R3A00. Okay, so we'll take this. This is the third away retro for the uh, 76 ers which is triple zero. Open this up, and we're going to take this uniform, and since we want the number location from this if file, we're going to take this and export it into that. If that makes, I hope this makes sense. So, we're going to right click, and this one right here is to export. So, we're going to go ahead and export to my temporary folder. And this is green top. Then, this is the color top. And this is the green bottom and export the color bottom. This is the warm-up. And if you can't tell what this is, you hit this button right here, transparency. So this we're going to export the letters and we want to export them as ping files. And do the same with the numbers, PNG file. Awesome. So there's all that. We can close out the second instance. So we're going to import all of these into this um, if file because this one has the numbers and the names located where we want them to, you know, to be. Let's say we want to take it one step further, though. Let's say we want some special numbers and stuff. So we're going to open it up with GIMP. And as detailed in my do 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 GIMP, we're going to edit... Uh, the index ping textures for uniform letters and numbers. Let's say we want uh, these 
things to be uh, to have uh, black numbers. So saturation down. Okay. Let's go ahead and do some contrast to make that darker. Whoa. Not the way I wanted to do it. Let's control Z that. New saturation. Let's grab the reds and then do that. And then do that. Good enough. You know, good enough for what we're going to do. You go to image. Um, no colors. Ah, crap. I do believe I have forgotten how to do this. Oh, there we go. Image, mode, indexed. We're going to index this, convert it, yay, and then overwrite that. So here, we can go to the numbers, and we can right-click. This bottom one is import. Temporary, we want this numbers ping file. Import that. Ta-da! All done there. And we can turn this on for the transparency. Numbers I was okay with, so we're going to go ahead right over to import and uh, import the letters. Perfect. You're going to want to make sure that the uh, format is the same. So right now this would screw up in the game, but just remember that. You're going to want to keep that the same. Um, so we're not going to do a change to the warm-up, so we can go ahead and just import the warm-up. Ta-da! Done with that. We're not going to make a change to the uh, green, uh, the text, the green textures. We're going to do a recolor, so that's imported, and we can import the green top. Now, if you do want to change those green textures, remember, tutorials thread, video tutorials thread, grimp, green normal map textures. That's how you do it. That just takes too long for this video. Now we could just import these two and just be done with it but let's go ahead and open them up and edit them boom 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 now as you can see it's got the transparency so we can't edit it right away we have to add the layer mask transfer the layers alpha channel and then we can show it Ta da that's what's screwing everything up unshow it and we do not want to edit it and as you know what we're gonna go ahead and disable it now I can go to colors hue saturation grab all the blue colors and let's change it. Well, okay, let's try cyan too. There we go. Let's make it a green. Whatever. So I did minus 100. And this I'll turn back to zero. Just because it changed nothing. So it's going to be a green. This is going to be a Christmas uniform, we'll say. <laughs> and if I add anything, if I add a patch or anything, you want to make sure that you also edit it in the uh, alpha channel. So we'll go ahead and apply this layer mask. Go to export. We're going to save it over this one, replace it, and we're going to do a DXT5. We're going to generate mint maps. OK. Close this one out. It already saved. Don't worry. I just wanted to save in the proprietary uh, GIMP format. Right click the bottom, add layer mask, transfer the layer mask. We're going to disable the layer mask. You want to make sure you do that before you do any, ed any editing. Use saturation. Use saturation, I say. Um, what do okay maybe this isn't going to work oh color balance only works on RGB color layers oh I still had it as I was still trying to edit the layer mask you don't want to you want to make sure you uncheck that first colors hue and saturation cyan we did negative 100 so now it's the same green Go ahead and export. Export right over that. Replace. <sighs> Apply layer mask. It'll do it automatically. You just make sure you do it over there first. <laughs> Providing such terrible examples. Close that saving. Close that. Now I can go to this clippers uniform and import the color top. And I can go here and import the color bottom. And they look terrible, but that's because I did the colors the way I did. <laughs> You're going to want to do a better job than what I just did. Trust me. But then I go here. I click this button to save. Save. That's it. Now this uniform is all ready to go. That is how you do it. If you want this to show up for the 76ers, you need to remember to if you're going to overwrite something that already exists, change it to triple zero 
and you know have whatever uniform you're going to replace so if let's say you want this to be their alternate um, you do UX triple zero and that would be their alternate uniform um, UX double zero double. so there it is right there that would that would replace the blue one um and if you want to show have it show up you know by itself um, as a brand new entry in the thing with the latest version of the Rush editor new uniforms show up by having them um, in the roster it's not dependent on the if file itself it's dependent in the roster so let's go ahead and take away you know we can take away one of the Celtic or the, excuse me the Sixers practice uniforms or you can go to a team you don't like and get rid of that uniform and give it to your um, 76ers like this Wizards alternate or oh, excuse me away classic number four alternate <laughs> and then you can change it by doing the um, I just did a tutorial on this uh, for changing all this stuff to add a new uniform so you can go ahead and check that out and I'm not gonna do that here so that's basically that with um, editing uniforms I hope that wasn't too confusing there's other tutorials feel free to leave a comment if you need explanation and I hope you learned something okay next one